So he was a military guy. Mm. I got it bad for those. Real Don't bad. say that on the I got it bad uh, for those. I got it bad wherever for wherever your DMs are now. And I want about the dumbest the of the dumb. I want the army. <laughs> Listen, it's the message right here. Black boy, tell me how you really feel. Cause I just wanna build with you. Black girl, tell me how you really feel. I wanna keep it real with you. I wanna live better, eat better. I wanna love better, sleep better. Yeah. Look, I'm gonna want, <laughs> I don't want nobody that's perfect. Cause I'm not perfect. I don't want anybody that has these ridiculous metrics and none of that. I just want somebody that we can like each other first and it can grow into love and it can be genuine love, reciprocated love and loyalty. And when I say loyalty, I don't mean cheating because I, I, I think I have a relatively unique perspective on cheating. Talk about it. I think it's cheating when you emotionally, when you give another woman your emotions or you, you have another woman catering to you and vice versa emotionally versus if it's just physical. Like I would be less ups. I can just go ahead and say I really don't care <laughs> if I'm with somebody and they dip off every now and then, if you know what I mean. Mm. But it's like you be calling her when you upset. <laughs> like what? <laughs> like what? You you be venting to her? Like hold on. You be talking to her about me? Like. <laughs> That's where it's different in my eyes. Mm. And I can actually say I got that perspective from my mother. She kind of taught me that. So, um, And then I just like I was able to see it in my interactions in real life. And so that's not really what I mean when I say loyalty. But when I say loyalty, I, I basically mean like if I've been tripping for a while, can I still depend on you to be there? Like if I'm just going, if I'm in one of my moods. Are you going to try to break up with me when you're upset? And it's just, I think I have this, uh, God, I don't, I don't want to diagnose myself because I haven't spoken to anybody yet, like a psychiatrist. I haven't gotten into my therapy journey yet. But I think I do have abandonment issues. I think I have this thing where I try to um, just be extra when it comes to certain things because I have this fear that eventually it's not gonna leave me like some you know what I'm saying something something's gonna go wrong he's gonna get tired he's gonna see all these baddies on Instagram and he's gonna be out and it's just that's 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 why loyalty is so big for me like are you gonna actually come back home like if I have your kid are you gonna come back home you know That's a big thing for me. Yeah. You just you just gave me some uh, much needed perspective. That's That's right. a big thing for me. And I just don't want it to wreak havoc in my dealings. I don't want to try to people please anymore because I'm scared that somebody's going to walk out the door. Um and I don't really know how many other people suffer from this if they didn't have a parent in their life, if they didn't have a mom, or if, you know, because it can happen for guys too. Guys have issues who had horrible mothers or had absentee mothers. Um, and maybe that also speaks to, because human beings, I think we just naturally seek love and acceptance. And I think we, um, that's just in our biology. And I just, I got to figure out like, what's the game plan to, to getting it organically? Um, and how to sustain it and how to properly show it and receive it. <laughs> um, and to just not always have the fear that something's going to go wrong. Um, it's hard out here. <laughs> like, it's, it's difficult. It's, it, it's just, it's so difficult. And it just gets, it, it gets worse. Or it gets worse and worse. Um, because 
You can be attractive and you can be thick and you can get all the attention like we talked about of guys chasing you down and everything, but nine times out of 10, you know what it's about. And so that's why half the time I don't even have, most of the time I don't even entertain my DMs because no, <laughs> like I'm not about to do that. So it's just hard. You know, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> it was hard. I'm at a point now where I don't even want to... Well, first, I think I need to just take a break from dating, which is mm -hmm. what I've been doing. Yeah. I don't even want to enter another relationship because that last situation was just too much for me. And that's the guy that just recently got married. Um, You called him a Steve. What, 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 what do you mean by that? What, were you was, saying like a... There was a video I did... Um, uh, with Tanisha Talks, um, it premiered last Tuesday. And it was, you know, one of the things we brought up is like every girl has a guy in her phone that like if she called him was like, you know what, I'm ready, Steve. He would be, he would run to wherever she was. And like the, the guy who was so in love with her, but she just doesn't like him, deep in the friend zone type of thing. I don't think he was that then. Okay. He actually... Mm. So he was a military guy. Mm. I got it bad for those. Real Don't bad. say that. On the I got back it bad uh, for those. I got it bad for especially. Are now and I want the, the dumbest triple. of the dumb. I want the army. <laughs> <laughs> They're my favorite Shout ones. Shout out to the army, man. <laughs> but <laughs> it, like he was, I don't, he wasn't a Steve. Like he. He got bitches. Like, mm. <laughs> he was a tall guy, 6'2", um, built, muscular. Um, like, he, he wasn't a Steve. I actually had to put in some work mm. for me to, to get his heart. And I didn't get that ring, but I know I got the heart, too. Mm. Even to this day. Mm. If you really want to talk about it, let's talk about it. If you really want to talk about we it. Don't, we don't ruin marriages, <laughs> or we need to talk. <laughs> so Even to this day. Like, okay, I don't want to. Mm, I'm not gonna say no names or give. Try, I'm trying not to give away too many details, but he, we started messing with each other, talking, not necessarily dating, like casual sex type situation situationship mm -hmm. um back before i had kind of come into jiggly back before i had so he met me when i was still overweight and still drinking at eight o'clock in the morning still you know so i always wanted him and i always wanted to have my feelings for him be reciprocated. I always wanted him to want me back. Um, and so even though it was just a situationship, I was just going above and beyond because trying to, trying to get him right, trying to do what she's supposed to do to ensure your man. And it kind of worked and it didn't. Um, well, obviously he didn't because he's married now, but in the very beginning for a few months, it was just like a bunch of um, just casual sex. Then we have fallouts, then we get back on, then fall out, then get back on. Um, and then I guess we had gotten in that. And in, in between of us, like falling out and stuff, he would be dealing with like other women and stuff. Like I say, you got bitches going. Um, after a while of us just going back and forth in that cycle, um, I don't know what it was because I don't think I really, well, I changed with time. Like I, if, if we would fall out, I would see how my behavior 
caused that fallout or if, if my behavior caused that fallout. Um, and I would just kind of like tweak it to, OK, like you don't raise your voice to him. He don't like that, you know, like that type of stuff. So with time, months pass of us just like going back and forth in that cycle, um, he finally just came to me one day and we 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 started like actually dating, like put a title on it, dating, like, you know, um, and I met his mom and everything. And um, I think part of the reason it, it felt like once we started dating, it felt like it started progressing really fast, which was what I wanted, or at least so I thought. Mm. Um, but he had me meet his mom. And very soon after, um, his lease was going up on his apartment. Mm -hmm. So we were he was looking for a new apartment and um, it ended up. We ended up talking about like moving together, um, which we did. And. I think it was then that I realized that. I did all this to get here to get this goal, to get him to want me back how I wanted him. But I don't think I want this. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I want this. And I don't know how to do this. Like, I don't know how to how to do this. I don't know how to do this. Like, I, it was cool when it was casual sex because I come over when we miss each other, when we needed each other, we do what we do, hang out, do what we do, and then we have our moments apart. But when you live with somebody... And that's when you start to see all the things you didn't notice. Like, oh, he snores kind of loud. <laughs> yeah. Um, but also I had other things like that I didn't work. I didn't realize that I needed to work on within myself at that time as well. So I had a lot of insecurity, um, which didn't help with the fact that, like I say, he's an attractive guy. And so... I won't make him out to be perfect, but I can't even really say our relationship ended because of him. Because <laughs> I just, I, I made life with me so difficult. Mm. Um, and it, oftentimes it really wasn't even things that he did. It was stuff that I had to work on. Um, and I was just like extremely emotional and I didn't know how to deal with my emotions and how to deal with them and deal with him at the same time and how to you know, just kind of like move around and get out of my own way. Um, but one day we just had like a really big blow up and it didn't help that I was drinking. Um, but we had a really big blow up and it didn't get violent, but like I was like yelling, I was just irate. I was just like there and he just came out the room and he looked at me and he said, this right here, this is over. Mm. And I was like, ah! <laughs> like, I don't know. It was, it, it just, that was a wake up call for me. Cause I had never had a guy come to me and, and, and leave me and break up with me. Like, it's done, you know, so. And I'll say that when it originally ended, I was trying to find ways that it could be his fault. Like I kept trying to, cause I, I was like, I'm a good, I'm a good girl. Like it's, I ain't put my hands on him. I ain't cheat on him. Like, why would you leave me? And I didn't, like, I didn't get that. Like we was talking about earlier with how you communicate with the man and the other things that men need. I didn't get that part. So I'm like, you can't handle me yelling at him. Like, like instead of understanding that that is the problem. 